Hey, good optometry morning. The number one question that I get from parents is, how much screen time should my kids have? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you the science-based research on how much screen time that your child should have. And make sure you stay tuned to the ending because I'm gonna give you three important take-home messages and a really, really cool feature that you wanna use right away. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what's harmful with screens for your children. So number one, the big elephant in the room is blue light. So let's talk about blue light and what's harmful and what's not harmful about blue light. And when we're talking about blue light, we're not talking about UV radiation or any damage like that. We're just talking about blue colored light. And the number one source of blue light in our lives is the sun. And that gives us, you know, probably a thousand or more times of blue light than any screen going to give you. And so light and specifically blue light is very, very important in something called our circadian rhythm. And that's this cycle of our sleep and wake cycle. And the important thing about blue light, that's an important factor in keeping us awake and alert. It's a signal to tell you to wake up. Blue light isn't bad. It's a good thing for you to have in your life. So when you wake up in the morning and you're exposed to a lot of sunlight and the blue light from the sunlight, that's a signal for your brain to be alert and be awake and get up in the morning. And then at night, when the sun starts to go down, you get less blue light from the sun and it's a signal to tell your body to start shutting down, start going to bed, start going to sleep. And the problem with blue light, particularly when we start using screens and devices, is that these devices will emit some artificial blue light to us and they're sending a mixed signal to your brain. And they're telling your brain to wake up and be alert when, you're, when your body's trying to cycle down and go to sleep. Blue light is a good thing. And if you have a blue light filter on your lenses, it's probably not a good thing that you're wearing that all day long. You don't wanna be wearing a blue light filter during the morning and during daylight hours when you wanna be alert but that's a good thing at night when you want to cycle down and get less blue light. But the second biggest thing and concern about screens is how close you're focusing and how long you're focusing on your screen. And that's where the real concern is because what we know is focusing for a long period of time and focusing really close is definitely linked to becoming more nearsighted or more myopic. And that's not a good thing. And so the problem here is not with the screen itself. Screen's not a bad thing. The problem with screens is that they hold our attention a lot longer and a lot more than a book might. So we can sit and watch streaming content and videos and movies on a screen for hours and hours and hours, and you can hold it really close, and that can cause your child to become more nearsighted. And that's what you should be concerned about. If your child's using a screen, you wanna reduce the amount of time that they're using a screen, and you wanna increase the distance that they're using that screen at. The Canadian Association of Optometrists and the Canadian Ophthalmological Society, they did a big study reviewing all the literature on screen time for your kids. They put together a guideline on the recommended screen time for your child. And here's what they found out and recommended. For children from zero to two years old, they recommended that there should be absolutely none, zero screen time for that age. There is absolutely no reason why a child under two years old should be using a screen of any type. For ages two to five years old, they recommended that the maximum amount of screen time that they should have is only an hour a day of screen time. And for ages five to 18, the maximum amount of recreational screen time is two hours or less. Okay, so I'm not naive that thinking we're not in a world with screens. We're not getting rid of these. And so if you're gonna be using a screen, you gotta be smart about it and think about how you're using it. So number one, try to reduce the screen time if you can. But number two, if you are using a screen, you wanna to try to use a screen further away. If you can use a laptop or a computer instead of your tablet or a phone, and better yet, if you can use a TV for looking at a screen rather than a tablet or a computer, that's even better. So increasing the distance of your screen for your child is really, really a great idea. And I wanna tell you about an awesome feature on the iPhone, the iOS 17, there's a new feature, it's called screen distance. And so if you go to settings and then you go into screen time, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a section that says screen distance. You wanna turn that on. And what that's gonna do is if you, using your screen closer than 30 centimeters away, it'll send you a signal to move your screen further away and you won't be able to view your content until you do so. This is a feature that you need to turn on your iPhone right now if your children are using your iPhone or tablet. All right, so here's your three point take home message. So number one, you wanna monitor your child's screen time. It is not your child's job, it's not their teacher's job, it's not your optometrist's job to tell your child how much screen time they should be using, it's the parent's job. You need to step up and be a parent and make the decision for your children of how much screen time they are using. Number two, if your child is using a screen, you have to increase the distance that they're using at that. So make smart choices, use screens further away. If you can use a television, 
do that. And every time you see a child, move the screen further away. And if you can install that app from Apple, that can increase the screen distance, then you wanna do that. And number three, don't mislead yourself that blue light filters can help protect your child from a harm of a screen. So getting a blue light filter on your glasses isn't a magical thing that's gonna suddenly protect them from any harm of holding the screen close and prevent you from having to intervene and do any parenting. You need to step up and do into parenting. Don't kid yourself at what blue light filters are doing. They're not a magical thing. Now, if you wanna learn a few more things on how you can reduce myopia in a child, you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.